All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy One Classic Gamer here, along with Justin Insane Sane, Twenty Ninety Nine, <laughs> coming at you live with some. Wait, coming at you live, dude? How do you start off the intro <laughs> messing up? What's it going on, everybody? Uh, this is Justin Sane, Twenty Ninety Nine, along with my boy on his channel, uh, One Classic Gamer. No, it's your channel now. He, he, good luck. Yeah, so um, I'm coming <laughs> at you with uh, me playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom uh, featuring The Legend of Zelda, and I am completely butchering this. So that's how you know how great of a job like I'm doing uh, with this. <laughs> um, any Can you guys you believe he's lasted 135 <laughs> parts? <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> So, guys, uh, Justin, how do you feel about uh, The Legend of Zelda? What do you think about this gameplay so far? <laughs> and it's just you in your grave with your Switch controller in your hand. Like, I never finished it. It was <laughs> too long, you know? Like, <laughs> uh, bruh. I'm so glad this game is ending soon, you guys. And you know what's even worse is right when this game is ending, they announce uh, Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. <laughs> and I'm just like... Well, shit. There's gonna be another Zelda playthrough this, this this year, but it's gonna be a shorter game, you know, because it's gonna be like I think the, this one that's coming out. Did you see the trailer I sent you or not? I saw the trailer, and uh, what really got me was um, there was you know how like people leave their comments and stuff, and somebody was like, you know what, they should just call this the Legend of Zelda, Whoa. the Missing Link. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been perfect! <laughs> I feel like they thought about that, and that was probably the first thing they came to, and they were they maybe they ran with that for a while, but then they were like, nah, we're gonna do something else, you know? Like But yeah, dude, I'm really me just speaking on that personally, I'm really, really excited for that because how many Zelda games have we gotten? And we're they're finally giving us one where Zelda is actually the main playable character like what is happening you know and justin it, it happened after justin and i were literally taught after i was schooling justin last week about the fact that link is the main character and not zelda and then we're also talking about marvel versus capcom and then the following week they announced the marvel versus capcom game that you're excited for and then the zelda game so like bro yeah, we both have something to truly look forward to. Oh, and also on top of that, you know, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which uh, just looks phenomenal, man. Like, honestly, this has been the most excited I've been for, like, game releases for the PS5 since the launch of the PS5. I mean, maybe Tekken 8 until I played Tekken 8 and they destroyed and butchered my king. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, man, this is an exciting time to be, like, a gamer, you know? <laughs> I mean, I literally get to play my old school games that I literally grew up playing. Like, there was the year where I played Marvel Super Heroes. And then, like, that following year, it was like, oh, we got X-Men versus Street Fighter. So now the X-Men are, you know, coming against Street Fighter characters. So I was like, oh, this is insane. And then the following year, it's like, now we stepped it up. Now, it's Marvel versus Street Fighter. I was like, wow, it doesn't get better than that. <laughs> and then they came out with Marvel versus Capcom the next year. Now, I know what you're about to say, like, after I say the next year, but this one actually took a couple years. A couple of years after that. Well, you gotta, was, you gotta think all the games that are being announced now, they've, are, they, they've, known, they've all known about it internally for the past few years that they were doing it. They just couldn't say anything to us until now, you know? But they've been working on it for years already, so they're just like, yeah. You really like <laughs> deflated the hype right there. It's like, dude, I literally felt like that hot air balloon there, just like, just like popping. <laughs> no, but like really fucking fast, you know. <laughs> like you know when a balloon is just like, <laughs> right. Or, like, when you run to a jumper and, like, they unplug it and, like, kids stay inside of it and try to, like, smash all the air out of it. And it's just like... I mean, I mean, listen, bro. Last week, when you left and I was exporting these videos and uploading them, 
I did. Uh, I was live streaming uh, um, RE3, and while I was live streaming it, I was listening to the our commentaries just to see how they sounded, and they weren't as bad as I as we thought in the moment. Like they they were coherent. It just like in the moment when you're doing this, you guys don't realize until you've actually done it. Like post commentary, like it's just like torture because you're literally just sitting here doing like nothing, you know, and you have to like. Give some form of commentary. I guess that's like my go-to in this video, the hot air balloon. <laughs> you know? What if it works, then whatever. You know, but... Yeah, Link, it's almost like that time um, when uh, you Link were went up into the, space and... Uh, yeah, and the balloon popped and yeah. he was like falling to his death. And then he saved himself because he's the hero of time. Right. <laughs> so you knew that, right? Hero of time? No, that's the uh, arcana of time. Orkana. Or Orkina. Uh, Ocarina. Okay. You said Cortana, like Halo or something. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what has happened to Halo, man? We haven't gotten a Halo announced. I feel like Halo is, is fucking dead now. It, uh, Halo is... And see me, I, that's the one thing I would give uh, Xbox is like Halo. Mm -hmm. And I don't and really And Gears of care. War. Those are their, their two mascots. And see, Halo, I never played. Halo 3 was the first Halo I've ever played because I never had an Xbox. Um, and I worked at GameStop at the time of the release. <coughs> and I have to admit, like, you know, I'm always going to be a PlayStation loyalist. But I am kind of jealous. Like, uh, Halo is an Xbox exclusive because it's like, Halo 3 is particularly fun. Um... Halo as a series, like it, it's really gone downhill since I want to say what four uh, when when Bungie uh, quit and, yeah and then uh, four oh five I think I think it was no three four three studio industry I think that's what they're called three four three um, when they took over uh, the property it kind of it kind of went downhill I mean Halo four was all right you know but like Halo five no one ever talks about that game. And then Halo Infinite, like, oh uh, yeah, I didn't even play it honestly. But I like, tried, I couldn't. Yeah. Now I d although, um, but they did bounce back with the uh, Master Chief Collection. That but that came out a while ago. I feel. I think it came out like. Um, I came out years ago. Honestly, I feel. I don't know. I might be wrong. I've, I've always kind of been a casual Halo player, you know? There are games that I've grown up casually playing and then now have, like, recently gotten into, like Resident Evil. Resident Evil is a series that when I was growing up, I kind of casually played, like, the fifth, sixth game, like, the newer ones. But now that the remakes are out, I can go back and experience those original stories, you know, without the, the awkward-ass controls and, like, really fucking, like, get into it, you know? And the horrendous frame rates. Ugh, dude. But part of me kind of wants to go back and try it out, just to see how it controls, you know? Like, I know the old games have that fixed angle perspective, where, like, when you enter a it's room... It's, like, a slightly above, like... And for some reason, it always makes you feel like it's slightly to the left. Yeah. For, like, no matter where you go, it's, like, up and, like, slightly left. Like, where you're not straight, you're just, like, here, like... Okay, we're gonna give you, a, like, a bird's-eye view... If the bird was, like, looking to its left. <laughs> They're doing a remake for uh, Silent Hill 2 also th this year. <coughs> the second one. <coughs> and I have played... <coughs> Shit! <coughs> Fuck! Okay, maybe stop talking <coughs> and, like, finish coughing. <coughs> ah! We're okay, guys. That was an overreaction. Yeah, it was an overreaction. And and I, did so that, I did that for the views. And like, I, I, and I understand you're trying to do a bit. It's just like, <laughs> but trying to do it. And it, you know, here's the thing. When you try to do bits without video, it, it just seems weird because They're on like, our end, doing? we see what's going on. On your end, you just hear silence. And then it's like, okay, that's silence. Silence, silence Hill. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> wow. Bro, <laughs> not a good vid. <laughs> Should we just start over? I'm just kidding. No, no, we're not going to start over. Fuck this. Honestly. Mustache Man is back. Did you miss him? I did miss him. 
Justin's like, I've been dreaming about him every night. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna call him. You know, I'm gonna call him. Uh, Porn stash. Uh, I was gonna say Pringle stash, but okay. Oh, actually, Pringle stash is more. No, nah, I don't make these videos for kids anyway, so fuck it. But I bet there's a large percentage of kids that are watching these Zelda videos, you know? Hey, man, if if a parent walks by a kid in their room and they hear me and you, like, cursing or talking about something, then that's not our problem, okay? That's the parent giving the kid too much freedom. Think about it. And that's that uh, 2024 woke content coming at you live from One what? Classic Gamer. That's no. not woke. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to say uh, something stupid to like ruin that moment. Uh, dude, they released a new trailer for Alien, and I saw it. I was like, oh, this shit looks so good, bro. Are you talking about Romulus? Yes. It looks so good. I'm invested. I'm not, I don't need to see a trailer. I don't need. Yeah. I'm going to see it. That and like they're working on Prey too, which so Prey really surprised me. I went in with zero expectations. I was like, this is gonna be first of all, it went straight to Hulu, so it's like I know it's gonna be garbage. Like they didn't even try to do a DVD release or like But it also came out during like the that time that if we talk about it, YouTube could potentially demonetize me for no fucking reason for talking about it. But like that unnamed disease that came that sent the world into a kind of, you know, funk for a bit. And they, I, I just don't think they were confident enough to release it. Or, like, maybe, like, theaters, I think, were still opening up, from what I remember, when that movie came out. Prey. That's why it had, like, a digital release, you know? Which got very good reviews. Yeah, I saw that movie, I saw Predators the other day on HBO, and I was thinking about turning it on, but I was just like, eh, you know? I like Predators as well. Like, to me, it wasn't bad. You know, it was different because it's like, finally, we go into their terrain. They're not on Earth anymore. They're yeah. like, they're in a... And what I like about that movie is it starts off and you think they're just in a regular jungle. But then they start to point out, like, no, like, the... The the the, the planet is the jungle. Yeah, like, uh, but I'm thinking... I, I'm trying to remember, like, what... I think it was, like... When they realized that they were on a different planet, is someone was trying to like say like, "Oh, dude, the sun should have like gone down by now" or something like that, you know? Or like the day night cycle was like different. Just imagine that thinking you're on Earth, you just don't know where you are, but then you find out you're on another fucking planet, dude. Like, ugh, you know, yeah. like fuck. And then see what I like how they played with the title because they called it Predators, and it's like. You're thinking like, okay, so there's more than one Predators, but then as you watch the movie, you're like, other people are Predators as well, like, in their own way or fashion. Yeah. So it's like, not only are you dealing with aliens, but you're also dealing with other human beings who have, like... How did that movie end? I forgot. With him fighting the giant guy, right? The, like, the super... Uh, they the... took off in the ship. He faked taking off in the ship because they blew it up. Ah. Uh... And then, like... He killed one of the term uh, the Terminators. <laughs> <laughs> they he pretty much are Terminators. One of the Predators, and then it comes in like it it ends with them like dropping another batch of humans. Uh -huh. So it's like you just see him look to the sky, and then you see like other people's like ah. Oh, so now they're bringing in more people. So it's like, but they're still like now that's their life. Like now you just gotta yeah hunt and like survive like. Bro, so there really is no way out. There is no way out. I hate that shit. I want one horror movie or suspense movie that has like a solution, you know? A way for them to get out. You but know? see, that's the whole point. But it has of, to come with a catch, obviously. But see, that's the whole point of horror movies. It's like, it either sets up where you think there's a way out and they get out, and then it's like, nope, the person's there at the end. Or it sets up where it's like, okay, they're out. But the killer or whatever is the entity, whatever it may be, is still around, so it's setting up for a sequel. Like, there is no like, okay, this stuff is done and we ain't gotta deal with this no more. It's, it's like It's like, okay, fuck, finally, I finally killed him on my third time. He's dead for sure. Nemesis comes back with a rocket launcher. You know, like fuck man <laughs> And see me, like honestly, I really, really, really wish they would have gave him like a minigun. Like they did in the original. I don't think he had a minigun. I don't. 
I, and I didn't play the original, but like I think he had a rocket launcher. Not no, a they game. gave no, they gave him one. He had one. Interesting. Okay, because I remember in the movie, like when they show him in the movie, he's like lighting them up with the minigun, you know, and then he goes stars. His classic catchphrase. Nemesis, bro. See, that, that is a sign of, like, trauma, you guys. The fact that I beat RE3, like, a week ago, but Nemesis is still on my mind. Like, I really grew to fucking hate that guy. <laughs> I swear. I think it's easier to reunite this Korok because it's right next to the track, so you can just, like, basically uh, put him on a train and... Yeah, Justin is still looking this up. <coughs> Damn. See, now I'm actually curious. <laughs> now, yeah, because I, I think I remember... Like, now you're questioning my mind memory. Like, I remember... I've seen original... I've seen footage of the OG game where he had, he had the rocket launcher, just like the... Uh, just look up, like, Nemesis, like, weapons, you know? Nah, I feel like that'd be too broad. You guys ever just, like, go on the internet and get overwhelmed? <laughs> For looking up the like the littlest thing, you're like, I just want an answer to this one question. Because like your brain, well, see, my brain does not. Most most of our brains are programmed to where we want an answer like right away, you know. And when they don't give us an answer, we're just like, ugh. Like earlier today, we were trying to look up like what console the first RE game came out on, and it was like, it like for some reason we just couldn't find it. But I guess it was PlayStation. Right, Justin? Yup. Just making sure you're you're keeping track, bro. He is still on this, you guys. He's going to be on this for, like, the rest of the video. Watch. The internet is so unhelpful. No, sip it. Ah, I tried, I tried reading the shrine, but uh, Justin wasn't looking, so I wasn't able to. Now I feel bad, bro, because I asked you this question. And you're determined on getting an answer now. Yeah, and see when you go <laughs> on Google, it it gives you information, but it doesn't tell you like like straight up. I just want a straight answer. Like, hey, did he have this weapon? Yes, he did, or no, he didn't. And it's, it's like the game is in the, like the weapon is in the game. Okay, did Nemesis have it? <laughs> the weapon's in the game, and it's not customizable. Like, okay, so I could obtain it, but did Nemesis use it? Mm. Take a drink of my coffee. And I'm going to take this time slowly as I'm continuing to look for the answer. <laughs> Bruh, we're almost at the end of the video. I'm just kidding, we're not. We got like 16 minutes left. Jeez. So, uh, guys, you just want to play RE4? Well, yeah, well, that's what we're going to do, right? We're just going to play RE4? Man. Why aren't you guys answering me? I'm just joking. Justin didn't even react. Damn. Because I'm reacting right now. Man, how many of these guys have I helped out get to their friends, dude? They shouldn't even be friends. If they separated to begin with, like... They're shitty friends to each other, period. Now, would you get one of these if you could? Like a little, like... A, a board with a control and a, a fan on it. That I honestly would. That looks sick, huh? It would definitely be better than that unicycle motorbike <laughs> we saw earlier today. <laughs> we should have taken a picture, bro. Damn. Missed opportunity. Just insane. It's just insane, y'all. Whoop, whoop. Coming at you live all the way from One Classic Gamer's YouTube channel. All right, Justin. I think we got another shrine coming up. Oh, okay. Finally, we got a straight answer. No. But the uh, Gatling gun is in the game. Okay. See, now my brain can move on. Like, Because <laughs> like, now, like, okay, you know? Oh, okay, Zelda. Zelda. Now you're just going to be picturing Zelda with a gap. With a gap. Dude. <laughs> like, 
Uh, so that would be Gatlin Gun, like, I honestly think a lot of his monsters would just be like, hey, especially like the leafy ones, like. <laughs> <laughs> they look like Pikmin, dude. I never even got into Pikmin, honestly, but I've seen gameplay for it. It just isn't really my thing, you know? And it blows my mind, like, it blows my mind the ga- kind of games like people like flock towards and be like, this is the coolest thing ever, like, Untitled Goose Game. And it's like. <laughs> So many people love that game, and I'm like... The Goose the goose Simulator? No, Untitled Goose Game. Like, that's the name of the game. What? <laughs> I mean, dude, there are people who obsess... No, 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 no. Put your no, phone away. No, I am putting it away. <laughs> Bro, you can't leave me here. We still got 13 minutes. Justin... What the? Okay, he's showing it to me. The picture. I know that game. That that game is actually kind of funny. It's funny, but like my how my friend like got me to play it. He's like, dude, just he's like hyping it up, trying to make it sound. And like then he's like, dude, all ever. you have to do is like slide that over, and I'm like, okay, walk over here, grab this, put it here. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to turn on the water. <laughs> oh, but the guy turns off the water when I turn on the water. So now I gotta distract him while I go turn on the water and get over here. And I'm, and then like next thing you know, I'm like an hour went by, and I'm like, this game is terrible. But <laughs> I've been playing it for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like when you're staring at the screen like too mad to even say anything, but you can't stop playing. You're just like. Uh... Oh, God. What was that one game that I played through a couple years ago? Oh, Stray. It's a game where you're, like, playing with the, the cat. cat. Yeah. But that game had, like, an actual, like, story and stuff, too, you know? So it was it was kind of fun, you know? But, like, that, I did something. What are you doing, bro? No, I'm staying here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not playing. Okay. I'm staying here because I'm dedicated to like watching that like Zelda's latest escapade. Ah, uh, guys, he's pulling a Sebastian. No, pulling his phone. It's out. a sabbatical. It's called sabbatical. Look at this. I just I'm like I'm not gonna fucking create a transport, so I'm just gonna drop him down the hill. He's just like oof oof. And Justin uh, thought that was pretty impressive. That was. I mean, it was like Matrix. Like it merged. And became something else. Come on, wait! Justin. I can't. Like that didn't even make sense. What I just like, <laughs> even when I finished saying it, what I said just didn't make sense. And I was like, dude, that, ew, Bruh, Come on. No, I'm here with you. What are you doing? No, I'm not about to do anything. You're just checking your your daily things. Well, no, I'm gonna make them do it. Oh, Pikmin. Okay, he's gonna order the things. The little plant things. Well, you know, Pikmin R Us is like only open until like eight o'clock, so you know you gotta make sure you get all your That's Pikmin. That's a thing. Of course it is, man. What? All of a sudden, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, <laughs> unsubscribe, unsubscribe. unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are these guys on? Like nothing. Yeah, yeah, literally nothing. Well, I don't know. We are high right now. High <laughs> on life. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm fighting the fire gi- giant, so I guess. Oh, high and hot are do two different things. <laughs> wow, I like how I I like see. Unfortunately, <laughs> those that are watching, you can't see the look of his face when he realized what he just said, <laughs> and like the fact that I got to see that beautiful transition of a face of like knowledge just catching up to you, like really, bro, like. like I feel like our commentary is worse, man. What is happening right now? <gasps> I don't know. We don't have that spark right now. We need to find it now before people unsubscribe. <laughs> um, Zelda stuff, gliding. Reuniting uh, people with, with Koroks with shitty friends that shouldn't have left them behind to begin with because if he was a true friend, he wouldn't have left him there. Yep, and then cut to... <laughs> them reuniting. Reuniting. But, uh, yeah, this one is a struggle. Yeah, what? <laughs> 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 I got 
It's like we're talking about this pain in the ass, Korok reuniting, the struggle of reuniting him with his friend. All right, this is a perfect time to segue into the fact that doing this video is really hard right now. Like, I was tired last week, and I was able to, like, do more than I am right now. And I'm like, I'm fully rested. I got coffee in my system, and I'm like... Dude, there's like nothing to say right now. <laughs> you think it could be like the plain orange environment? You know, there's this one fucking desert in uh, Australia. It goes on for like so fucking long. And it has this highway. It's called the Highway of Death, literally, because the desert is so flat and empty and it goes on for so long that people have literally fallen asleep at the wheel driving and like crashed. Because literally, like, it's just so flat, nothing. You're just like, and you're, I, I guess it, it creates this weird, like... Tunnel vision. Yeah, like tunnel vision where you just, like, you literally phase out and you have to, like, like I should pull over now before I fucking, you know. And I guess there's a, like, if you do stop, there's a ton of, like, fucking, like... I don't know how this makes sense, but I, I think there's a ton of, like, creatures and stuff, or, like, animals, you know? Oh, okay. I mean, it's Australia, so, like, let's, okay. let's be honest. Yeah, like... Well, you know, with Aus your, like, Resident Evil lingo, like, when you say creatures, you're like, there are oh, other entities. It's a lot of liquor over there, bro. Oh, do you think the liquors, when they kill their prey, they're just, like, like licking them and stuff? No. With their long-ass tongues? <laughs> No, I've always been in, like, um, what you call it. Every time I see a liquor, I just think about Reptile from, like, Mortal Kombat 2, where he just does that fatality where he just, like, tongues your head and just rips your head off. Or, like, the Mortal Kombat movie, remember, where you hadn't noticed it, but I point out that one part where he hits the guy and you see him just, like, <laughs> stumble backwards. Yep. See? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's the third time, guys. First, the muffins. Now the... No, the muffins was like the buy two, get one free. Although I really felt like she said buy two, get one free. That's what I heard too. So I went and grabbed like... The... Yeah. <laughs> it's like that whole interaction. You could tell like while it was playing out, the universe just didn't want us to like... Like we none of us should be interacting right now, but we got to make it work. You know, before like literally like... They at least I didn't get kicked out like the Starbucks guy. Let's be honest, you know. Yeah. They let me buy my muffins, so we're all happy now. Justin's happy because he has his cheese, which I had to set a reminder for to not forget. Because he gets home, he's just like, "No cheese." Right after all that work I've done to get cheese, and not just any kind of cheese, Tillamook cheese, which you could get at your local grocery store. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dude. So now we're like so out of ideas that we're literally just reliving stuff that happened. Like, like I know, ago. like we're literally like, <laughs> yeah, like we're just like trying to make it seem like the like craziest shit in the world, but we're just like, man, there are places that are like at war right now, you know, and like gears of war, you know. E day is coming up, so you know we got to prepare for that, folks. Make like, sure you got your shelters ready. Actually, that's probably not a good idea because they come from the ground, right? I think they do. The locusts do. Well, make sure, basically what he's just trying to say is like, make sure you got your uh, chainsaw. Gun. Gun ready. Yeah. And make sure it's uh, fueled and primed and ready to go. And have plenty of gas and ammunition. Oh, unlike that time we tried to play Gears of War. Like, <laughs> like I was talking about how terrible it's like, oh, this guy sucks. I'm like, yeah. We this spent is my first time playing. Like... <laughs> Of course I'm terrible at Gears of War. Uh, dude. Yeah, and like fucking when we were trying to get your password for like half an oh hour. Oh my and god. Then we got in and we were like, what? Yeah. And then you looked away from the screen for a sec, but I kept looking. And then when you looked back up, I was like, dude. And then it was like, your thing does not work. And Valakir, and we were like, oh my gosh, that was so frustrating, folks. I don't know. See, that's why I always make my passwords related to Sonic the Hedgehog. Because, like, you can remember, like, stuff. Like, you can just be like, hey, not that I'm saying this is one of my passwords, but Green Hill Zone. Like, 
You remember Green Hill Zone. You remember, like right now when I said that, I already hear like you guys, I can hear the music playing in your ear right now. <laughs> it's such a catchy tune, bro. Like I've literally worked out to that music, man. I'm not even ashamed to admit it, honestly. You know, like Sonic the Hedgehog had such a soundtrack. I remember playing that game to get to certain levels. Just so I could like sit there and listen to that song. And you know what's so fascinating about the Sonic the Hedgehog songs? They're literally anywhere between 40 to 40 seconds to a minute long. And they just loop it. But it's the most hypest thing that you'll ever hear. It's kind of like, same thing with um, Super Mario uh, Overworld theme. Where... You just hear, like, what was that, Yoshi's Island? I remember that. Or uh, Super Mario... What 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 one was that? Uh, Super Mario World? I don't I don't remember. I think it was Super Mario World. It was the one where he was allowed to get the cape and he was allowed, like, you could technically Yeah, that fly. was Yeah, that was Super Mario World. Dude, I can't believe this is just the second video, man, out of five. Jeez. I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you like. I shouldn't have brought it up. Like, yeah, you probably yeah, should like, delete that section. It's about to end, bro. It's okay. It's about to end. If my channel isn't banned after this for being so cringe, you know, then we. I feel like we said some cringe shit today in this video, man. You have to understand, not everybody <laughs> bats a thousand, folks. Sometimes, like. You just don't have the thunder. And we're not like all of those like YouTube actors or Twitch actors or Discord actors that like have a script of what they're going to say or talk about. It's like everything you're getting is like 100% organic. So it's like, because, you know, we just feel like you deserve like the full on experience. Like, hey now, bro, are you insulting my content? I don't know. I was just saying like we're not <laughs> actors basically. Yeah. Although if we were actors, we're not we'd be fake. killing it. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we'd be killing it. Yeah. Hey, bro, you think of what I'm thinking, partner? Aim for the bushes. Aim for the bushes. <laughs> and we always aim to the bushes with you. Although we don't like, you know, straight out slim. We don't look out. down to see if there are any bushes <laughs> before we jump. You know, we're just like, yeah, we're cool. Like they actually thought they were gonna survive that. Like what the fuck? <laughs> uh. Now I'm talking about movies. Fuck. I should be talking about boobies. Yeah? Yeah. But we don't have a lot of time for that, so... Sorry, y'all. Um, yeah, uh, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Can the video end? God. Uh, this is Zelda, by the way. This dragon is literally Zelda, if you can believe it. It's kind of a long story, but... She turned herself into a dragon to survive through time and bring the sword to him, the legendary sword, so that he could defeat the bad guy at the very end of the game. There's your, your history that you don't really care about or aren't interested in. <laughs> um, so this, I think, is finally the last Korok of this video. Uh, we're going to try to have better commentary in the next video, uh, right? Right? Yeah, so this has been one classic gamer saying goodbye along with my uh, co host here, Justin saying 2099. <laughs> when we return, one classic gamer will be in charge again and the videos will be just right. So if you guys enjoyed this, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Cool.